Okay, it's all yours. My name's Annette Densham. I'm from the Gold Coast in sunny Queensland. I have always been a storyteller. Um, even from when I was uh, a little girl, one of my favourite things was to you know, get up and act out some story that I'd read, much to the amusement of my family. And I guess it was no surprise to them when at 10 I announced that I was going to be a journalist and I was going to take on the world and write the good stories and, you know, bust the baddies and shine the light on injustice and, you know, make a difference in the world through storytelling. So everything I did from the age of 10 was focused on achieving that goal until I got to 16 and I discovered voice <laughs> and uh, kind of went off track a little bit there for a while and uh, got to about 19 and went, I uh, should probably go back and redo grade 12 and get back on track. Um, so I did and I scored my dream job with one of the biggest newspaper um, houses in Australia and I worked for them. And But I, I found that I was a little bit different to other people in so much that I said what I thought. And I learnt very quickly in my 20s that people don't always... Um, honour and appreciate people who are straight talkers. So I guess I kind of shot myself in the foot with my newspaper career because I, I, I wasn't the type of person to do things because other people said I should do them. I did things because I felt that it was righteous and um, that was the right thing to do. So I guess I was a little bit of a crusader from um, early days. So I, I left my newspaper career a little bit beaten and downtrodden and went through a period of depression where it was, you know, everything I'd done in my life was leading up to being a journalist and being an award-winning journalist. And, you know, within the space of four years, that dream was gone. Um, and I didn't know enough and I didn't have enough personal development to realise that I could probably just shift my thinking and shift into something different. But, you know, this was the 90s. There wasn't Facebook. We didn't have Facebook Live. We didn't have Zoom. We didn't have online media. So, you know, I just went, well, if I can't do this, then I'm not doing anything. So I put my tail between my legs and I went back to Queensland where I discovered a new passion, which was working with people with disabilities. And I did that for four years until I had my children and I discovered something called a, a service servant mentality was sometimes it's really nice to give and to help other people and not expect something in return all the time. Uh, and it, it really changed my life and it changed how I looked at the world and it changed how I looked at other human beings. But I guess storytelling was always an allure to me and I, I gradually moved back into journalism, into corporate communications and into PR, which is what I do now. And, you know, I'm really honoured that I can work with particularly women in business and women in general, telling their stories, you know, pulling out, pulling out their little nuggets of gold that they don't even realise that are nuggets of gold until, you know, you go, hang on blah, 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 this is how I see you. And they go, really? Is that me? And I go, yeah, that's what you shared with me. And I've just shared it back to you. And seeing their faces light up when they realise that, you know, they can make a difference in the world, that they don't have to be the massive world leaders, that they can make, <clears throat> they can make their impact on the world in their own little way. Um, so I've been doing that for six years now. Um, apparently, I'm a bit of a high achiever when it comes to business longevity. You know, they say that average small business is only around for two years. So I guess I beat that one. Um, and I just continue to evolve and change and learn. And, um, you know, a, a big thing that I try to share with people is the need to be vulnerable and to be real. And, you know, not that I'm so authentic type of real but you know being honest about what's going on in your life without oversharing too much and 
expressing what's happening to you so other people can learn and experience and grow through yours. Fantastic.